There is one distro I think I didn't talk about enough, and this distro is Endeavor OS. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. I've been using this distro for more than 18 months straight. 18 months. I didn't have to reinstall it. I didn't have to do crazy things. It didn't broke. And this is a distro that kind of like make me fall in love with Arch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why is it so cool? Well, this distro on paper has been created, I think, in 2019. And this is the result of the end of an older project called Antargos Linux. And if I understand it correctly, uh, some of the members of the team, the development team of Antargos uh, Linux, decided to continue the project to, into, like, you know, in, in another name. And they created this, this beauty of an uh, Arch-based uh, distro. And what I like about it is that this distro is kind of um, in the middle between a really like heavy, I would say like full of option type of arch based distro and a core pure arch distro. And I, I really like it because this is this in between that puts you in this position where you still have enough tool to have like a, a decent experience. But on the other hand, you still have enough like space to grow your own operating system and also your own knowledge. When you decide to move to Arch, if you go the Arch install way with uh, Arch ISO, you're going to be in a position which can become really weird really fast. Because the team of Arch created this Arch install like script will give you like, I would say like all the tool to, to boot in a desktop environment. But then when you arrive there, if you have no idea what you are doing, you're going to be totally lost because you don't know the packages you require to install, but also because you don't really know how to maintain this beast. Maybe some of you will be able to go there right away and, and learn fast. But for, I would say like the other people, like including me, which wanted to take advantage of the all, like I would say, like world of Arch, including the AUR. Well, Endeavor OS for me was the best solution because it's super minimal. You don't have a lot of bloat and you really pick what you want in terms of packages. And behind they have like this all like a uh, big forum where you can learn and you can participate, you can exchange with them, they're super active. So yeah, it's, it's, for me, that's really a good, good distro to learn. What happened three months ago, I started to make challenges. The first one was on Linux Mint. I spent like one month full throttle on, on Linux Mint and I, and I kind of enjoyed it, but I still felt the limitation compared to Arch. Then I moved to OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which was like super, super good. Like it was, really like above all my expectation and I will still recommend it for uh, you know a beginner to an advanced user it's it's the type of distro you you don't need to push further if you whatever you do is going to fulfill all your need but there is something about arch that I couldn't find inside open to that tumbleweed and this little thing was really related to the AUR and the community approach and their way to always push, always push the limit. The good news is that with Endeavor OS, you're gonna be able to enter this world without a lot of knowledge, and you're gonna have a plenty, plenty of options in front of you. The install is super simple. I'm pretty sure you have seen all the videos there. You can install Endeavor OS in less than like three minutes, and you don't need any type of knowledge, and you're gonna have a lot, lot, lot of options. So first, I want to talk about the different desktop environments they have. I know their style is a little bit particular, but I kind of like it, to be fair. I believe their flagship flavor is based on XFCE, but I think for the next release, it's going to be based on KDE. 
which makes sense because now KD is super light, super customizable. Like I, I really like it. I, I was also using XFC before and I moved to KD and I think they are just doing the same thing. I think KD right now is a really good spot, but you have other options. If you want to go Gnome, Mate, Cinnamon, Budgie, LXQT, LXDE, or even i3, they have an online installer which is going to grab the latest version and you're going to be able to get their best customization for each of those desktop environment which is really awesome and if you look at the work so in this example i'm using the kg version it, it's just awesome i really liked it really minimalistic you don't have any blood you go there you're, you're good to go if you want to go further uh, they also have like special community edition so on this one i believe like the next release they're going to start to change the way it works but i already like encourage you to go on their website and see what is the best way to install them but you can go crazy. You can go Hyperland. You can go Sway, Qtile. Like they have plenty of like desktop environment maintained by the community. As I understand, their community right now cannot support all of them. And I think they're going to really start to focus on, on the core one or selection of them because sometimes, you know, less is better. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the direction they are taking. But anyways, you can, you won't have any problem to find what you want. Now they sell it as a installation ready to tweak and that's really what it's all about. So during the install process, you have really like two big options you're going to have to choose from. For the first one is going to be uh, the, the type of bootloader you're looking for. I think you can choose between system deboot and grub, or you can also not install any of them, your choice, and you know, you can install one after. Why not? The second one is going to be about the system file and they can, they provide a better FS and a X, XT4, X4, I don't know how to pronounce that in English, during the install process. This is really like the big selection you're going to have to make outside of your desktop environment. But I thought it was pretty cool they incorporated that into Calamares. After, you're going to have a really slim version of Arch ready to go. But on top of that, they're going to have special hook so I don't want to get too deep into that, but they have nice NVIDIA hooks. They have like, a, I believe like some Dracut hooks. So it kind of like simplifies the whole installation versus Arch. And you don't have to put your hand under the hood that much. It's, it's pretty slim, which I kind of like because it kind of like make your maintenance easier. Some of the users who are starting Arch, they're going to have to go through the whole wiki and even more to add all of those little scripts. Here it's provided out of the box. What I like is like the, it comes with Ye, so I use Ye most of the time. Uh, I think on my Garuda, I use Paru. You know, for me, it's kind of the same. I want to be straight. Maybe I'm going to offend some people there, but like Paru, Ye, end of the day, it does the same job. Uh, I, I like I like both of them. When it comes to uh, other applications, they, they come with a downgrade application. So this is going to be a good tool if you break your Arch install. And it's pretty fun. They, they provide it out of the box because they kind of think about what maintenance is in Arch is ready. But really, you have an Arch base with a nice little like uh, maintenance tweak installed as a core, and then you can build whatever you want on top of that. And, and I do believe like this is what makes it one of the best distro right now, because you have space to build and also space to learn. Arch. So if you really want to go into Arch, I would say maybe start with Garuda. If you don't feel like you are really like in trust, try everything they propose because Garuda, they have a really large, I would say like choice of application installed right off the bat. And you might be a little bit overwhelmed at the beginning because there is maybe too much, but this is what it would look if you install everything you want and even more. And you're gonna have like the opportunity to, you know, learn and try them. Then if you wanna start with something a little bit minimalistic and build on top of it without the hassle of Arch, I would say go with Endeavor OS because Endeavor OS is good, it's exactly there. And now if you think that there is too much on Endeavor OS, you can go with Arch, Arc install, or even do it by hand. I have one of my buddy, like Cardiac, who is creating a script, a post-install script for Arch, which kind of make your life easier. But it just makes it easier for the install. It, it doesn't 
show you all the maintenance and give you all the trick, right? You're still are gonna have to go through it. So my point is like, this one is right in the middle and I still love it. I was at the end of this challenge, Ubuntu like didn't work for me at all. And I was thinking, what am I gonna do? Like, what, what, I want, what am I gonna do? Well, Endeavor, Endeavor OS, solid. And then I can build whatever I want on top of that. Now you have seen all the install process. It took me less than three hours to set this baby up. I customized everything. I now have my desktop as I want. So obviously, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Dracula film, but you can see here, it's solid. Driver are installed. I have the latest like uh, TKG kernel based on the 6.6. I installed Fish, I have Kitty here. Everything is working really, really nice. And I believe this is what makes the beauty of a distro like that. Highly customizable, super clean, and uh, ready to go. Like in less than three hours, you're gonna have everything looking exactly as you want. And, and this is what it's all about. You can do everything with the Arch-based distro. Gaming is just top notch because you have the latest driver installed right off the bat. You have access to the AUR to install whatever you want. You can compile everything. And this is, this is just wonderful. Like for me, it's definitely one of the best, if not the best, if you want to learn how to use Arch. Simple as that. Is it the perfect distro? No, I still believe there is some little detail they have to work on, but I don't want to spoil them, okay? It's just like preferential at this level. And this is what makes the difference between this distro and a, I would say like core arch, you know, pure arch. Right now, for my use, I think Endeavor OS does the job. And I, I, will, I will definitely recommend it if you are going to switch toward Linux and want to discover this wonderful world. Like this is, this is one of the best. I have to tell you, this is one of the best. When it comes to gaming, I know I didn't talk about it a lot in this video. And the reason why is like, if you look at all my past stream for the last two years, I would say three quarter of them have been making them using Endeavor OS. He has been rock solid. And it gave me really the best performance ever. Like it's just incredible. So it's just incredibly solid. So yeah, I don't want to oversell it. This is this is good. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope I kind of like give you some good information about this distro. But overall, I would say, guys, if you want to go for it, just 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 do it. Well, I've, I've been trying to shoot this video for a long time and I was like, what, I, what I'm going to be able to say about this distro? And truth is like, there is not that much. It's, it's just pretty darn good. So guys, if you enjoy the content, if you learn anything, uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, let me know in the comment below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And something else I want to say, because it, it's really important for me, like guys, if you want me to make some type of tutorial, based on Endeavor OS, I, I could make them. Just write them in the comment below. I have a lot of other videos which are like piling up in the backlog. They are coming. Don't be worried. But yeah, I, I felt like I really needed to, to share my experience about this wonderful distro like with you guys. And uh, yeah, that's all. If you want to support the channel financially, uh, don't forget to do it through Patreon or a YouTube membership like that you have access to all those nice icon and emote and you can come uh, troll me uh, when I'm streaming and yeah that's it that's all guys thank you very much have a great rest of your day and uh, see you on Endeavor OS bisous bisous